What types of assessments are best for GLP-1 patients? Well, similar to most members who join a health club that has an assessment department, you would want to look at things like body composition, and we just spoke about that in a previous uh, a video, but you would probably do some sort of a strength assessment. You would do a range of motion assessment. You would do a basic pain assessment. Does anyone have pain in their joints? A structural assessment based on uh, any issues with the spine, forward head, scoliosis, etc. Uh, and in GLP-1, you would want to do a basic quality of life behavioral assessment because you want to make sure that this person is in a certain stage of readiness in order to do the exercise. Some people may be recommended to come into an exercise program from their doctor and they've never done it before. And they may, not, they may have some behavioral issues in terms of working out in public and all of that needs to come uh, to light in terms of doing these assessments. So if you can do a biometrics, a behavioral, and possibly trainers may have access to blood work from some of the patients. I would want to know their glycosylated hemoglobin and their fasting blood sugars and maybe their uh, C-reactive protein and stress hormone like cortisol before they actually start doing the exercise. So the assessment is really important, especially in the first one or two sessions. So we have a really good indication on where this person is starting from as they begin the exercise. Where can I learn more about assessments in GLP-1? You can log on to medhealthfit.com and click onto the GLP-1 program.